In this video, let's go ahead and learn about the properties of logarithms. And I know this looks like a lot at the beginning, but once we get into some problems, this will all make more sense. It's confusing now because it's all letters, but let me just read this first property to you. And by the way, this is a B. So here's how you read it. Log base B of X plus log base B of Y equals log base B of x times y. Well, what does that mean? It, it simply means this, that if you add two logarithms with the same base, you can turn it into one logarithm and turn it into multiplication. On the second one, it's very similar. It just says if you subtract two logarithms with the same base, you can write it as one single logarithm and the subtraction turns into division. And I'll get to the last one in a second. But let me just give you a little background knowledge on these first two properties. Let's think about something hopefully you, you are familiar with. x squared times x to the fifth. Do you remember how to simplify this? Well, when you're dealing with powers and you're multiplying and the bases are the same, you bring the base over, which is x, and you add the exponents. So this would be x to the seventh. So with powers, there's a relationship between multiplication and addition. Same thing with logarithms. There's a relationship between multiplication and addition. And also there's a relationship between division and subtraction. So hopefully that kind of will help you remember these first two properties. And this last property here just says that if you have log base b x to the power of y, you can actually take this power of y and move it in front of the logarithm. Just move it here and that's what I did. So in other words, log base b x to the power of y equals y times log base b to the x. Let's just look at some examples. Hopefully this will make more sense to you. So the first example I kind of want to look at is log base 6 to Now this is a 6 now. It's not a b. Log base 6 to plus log base 6 18. I want to simplify this. I want to rewrite this as one logarithm. Based on the first property, how do you think I can rewrite this as one logarithm? Well, they're both log base 6. So what I'm going to do is take the log base 6 and I'll just bring it over and write it once. So I just wrote this log base 6 once. And remember, the addition turns into multiplication. So what I'm going to do is take this 2 and multiply it with the 18. So it becomes log base 6 of 2 times 18. That's how that first property works. Now I just evaluate this. This becomes log base 6. Well, what's 2 times 18? That's 36. Now, what is log base 6 of 36? Hopefully you watched my last video. It was called Logarithms and Introduction. If you did, what this means is, this is what this means. It means 6 to what power is 36? Or another way to look at it is, how many times do I have to multiply the 6 by itself to get to 36? Well, isn't 6 times 6 36? So I have to multiply the 6 by itself 2 times to get to 36. So the answer to this is 2. This all equals 2. So in other words, log base 6 of 36 is 2. And in other words, when I simplify all this, that's my final answer. Let's try another one where we uh, use subtraction. It's very similar. What if I had log base 3 of 144? Minus log base 3 of 16. Okay, do you think you could rewrite this as a single logarithm? Well, the first thing you want to do is make sure you have the same base, and we have a base 3 here. So let's rewrite the log base 3 just one time. And this is the second property, by the way. 
And do you remember that the subtraction turns into division? So I'm going to take the 144 and divide it by the 16. And that's how I rewrite these two logarithms as 1. And then we just need to simplify this. So this becomes log base 3. Well, let's see, 144 divided by 16, that's 9. All right, and what's log base 3 of 9? Well, how many times do I have to multiply 3 by itself to get to 9? To multiply it by itself two times, because 3 times 3 is 9, right? To multiply this by itself two times. That's how I got the 2 here. So the answer to all this is 2. When I simplify this, I get 2. Let's look at another one. How about if I have uh, this? I'm going to actually do the properties a little backwards. What if I had something like this? Log base 2 of 16 times 8. In this situation, what I want to do is write two logarithms instead of one. So it's reversed of what I just did. So I'm going to write it like this. Log base 2 of 16. And remember, multiplication turns into addition. And then I'll write the log base 2 again of 8. So this is just reverse. What I did is I took this single logarithm and I wrote it as two logarithms. And they both now have the log base 2 from here. And remember, the multiplication turns into addition. All right, so what's log base 2 of 16? How many times do I have to multiply the 2 by itself to get to 16? Four times, right? Because 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 is 16. So I have to multiply the 2 by itself four times. And what would this be? How many times do I have to multiply the 2 by itself to get to 8? That's what this means. Hopefully you're thinking 3. 4 plus 3 is 7. So the answer here to this whole thing is 7. Let's look at a couple more. How about this? Log base 3 of 9 divided by 27. All right, we have a single logarithm. We'll write it as two logarithms. So I'm going to write log base 3 of 9. And remember, division turns into subtraction. And I'll write the log base 3 again and of 27. And I'll put that over here. And let's simplify this. What's log base 3 of 9? Well, hopefully you know that's 2 because 3 you have to multiply the 3 by itself 2 times to get to 9. Minus, what's log base 3 of 27? How many times do I have to multiply the 3 by itself to get to 27? 3 times. What's 2 minus 3? It's minus 1. And that's the answer to this. Let's look at one more where we use that property at the end. I haven't done one like that. How about this? Log base 2. of 16 to the power of 8. How would I do this? Well, that last power says I can actually take this 8 and move it in front of the logarithm. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to take the 8 and move it in front of the logarithm and rewrite it like this. And then what I'm going to do is just look at this piece here right here and I'll multiply that all by 8. So let's bring down the 8 times right here. I'll bring that down 8 times right here. I'm just bringing this piece down right here and what's log base 2 of 16? How many times do I have to multiply 2 by itself to get to 16? 4 times, right? We already did that one earlier, and then I go 8 times 4 is 32. And that would be the answer to this right here. Well, I hope you found this helpful. Have a great day.